Okay, well, before we left for winter break, Tucker agreed to put together the teaching segment for today. That's the part of the program where we look closer at our big idea. I sure hope he followed through. You know what? Maybe Tucker is working on it and we should just go over it really quick. Repeat this after me. Commitment, making a plan, and putting it into practice. The animal is the meerkat and the color is copper and I'm out of things to say. Hope he shows up. Oh, hey Heath. How's it hey, going? Tucker. You wanna play some basketball? Uh. Oh. oh, oh, I'm good, I'm okay. So what's up with you? Well, I was just out here waiting for the teaching segment and you? Well, with the coming of the new year, I thought I'd pick up, uh, pick up playing some basketball. Really? Oh, I got it. You're saying since we're talking about commitment, you thought you'd show the kids a great example of how you were making a plan and putting it into practice by learning how to get better at basketball. Well, I just really want to be able to spin on my finger. I, I wasn't even listening. What, what was the thing you said about the teaching segment? Tucker, you were supposed to get the teaching segment together for today, remember? <gasps> yeah, that's right. Hey guys, uh, commitment, right? Who wants right. to be committed? Tucker, why didn't you do what we talked about? I mean, we made a plan, you were supposed to tell the story, and you didn't put it into practice. Okay, listen, Heath, it's not my fault. I just ran out of time. I mean, here's what I did over winter break. I ate too many leftovers, so I had to sit on the couch for a little while. I watched some TV, and I got a brand new Blu-ray video, so I'll watch that. Mm -hmm. It was about this group of bees that played basketball called Air Buzz. I put uh. it on repeat and watched it for six days straight. That's when I decided I wanted to play basketball on that that was pretty much my winter break. You ran out of time? Tucker, that sounds like you just wasted all your time. I tell you what, Tucker, I was afraid this might happen, so I have something prepared. You didn't believe in me. I'm learning basketball. Yeah, I tell you what, why don't you help me and maybe we can all learn something about this month's big idea. Commitment is all about making a plan and putting it into practice. It seems like you just ran out of time, but if you want to make the smart decision and maximize your potential, that means you actually have to put into practice the plans you make. You have to manage your time. Okay. Let's say this jar represents the time you have after you get out of school each day. It's your choice on how you want to use it, right? If you want to maximize your potential, you need to make the most of it. If we're going to make a plan, we need to realize what's most important. We need to prioritize. Now these ornaments represent some of the things that you have to do, like your homework, or putting together a teaching segment for character education, or practicing for soccer or basketball team, or helping your mom and dad out around the house. And these beads represent the things you love to do. What would be some of the things you like to do, Tucker? Uh, what do you love to do after school? Oh, uh, definitely watching TV, playing video, video games, and Minecraft. Great, let's say after school you go home and you really wanna play some video games and watch TV. But when you get home, your dad or your mom asks you to take out the trash. Oh, man, the trash? but I wanna play video games. Okay, so maybe you decide not to take out the trash right away. And instead you play some video games for a little bit. Okay, so then it's dinner time. So you stop, eat with your family, and then what next? Oh, I always like to watch a little TV, and my favorite program actually comes on right after dinner. So maybe I'll watch that just for a little bit. Okay. So your program is over, and it's time for your homework. So you work on your math. Yeah, knocked it out of the park. But look. Uh, by the time you get done with your math, it's too dark to play basketball practice, and, and you haven't started the teaching segment. By the time your mom says, Tucker, it's time for bed. What? They just don't fit. No, what do you mean? I thought we were trying to make a plan to maximize my potential. Tucker, that's the point. If you want to practice the big idea of commitment, you need to understand what's important to commit to. 
That's why we have our big three, treating others right, making smart decisions, and maximizing your potential. You prioritize, when you prioritize, you realize that some things should come before others. Let's try it again with our day and see if we can fit everything in. I, I've got a whole new set, so here we go. Keith, obviously it's not gonna fit. The jars are the same size, and we have the same amount of everything. Let's see, remember our big three, treating others right? Mm -hmm. Let's say when you get home, you think about treating others right and you realize that your mom and dad could really use your help. So the first thing you decide to do is take out the trash. Really? The trash? Okay, I guess I can wait on video games for a few more minutes while I help them out. But will I still have time to play video games? Sure, but remember we made a commitment. We need to put it into practice. So okay. So, if we're committed to the big three, the next one would be the smart decision, right? Sure. So you got some math in the teaching segment. Do you think the smart decision would be to play video games first or get that stuff out of the way so now you have enough time to do it right? <sighs> I guess the smart decision would be to do uh, my homework and work on that. Good. So you're getting your homework done, you're getting your teaching segment taught just in time for dinner. You eat dinner, and your favorite show is on. Sweet, let's watch that. Great. Um. Is it close to bedtime? I still want to play video games. Tucker, you still have a little time. Remember last time you did your math after watching TV, so you used the extra time to play some video games. Hey! It all fit! See, Tucker? When you prioritize your time and stick to putting into practice the plans you make, you maximize your potential. Wow. Who knew commitment? I, I mean, just making a plan and putting it into practice could really maximize our potential. Absolutely. So, Tucker, if you would have started by working on your teaching segment, we might have had time so that I could have helped you learn some basketball. Then you could have relaxed a little bit while still accomplishing what you wanted. Okay, you're right. I'm gonna have, I'm going to make a plan. I'll put aside a little time each day to work on my basketball and then maybe I'll get better. I'm going to be committed. Uh, okay. Well, let's say our big idea together. Commitment. Commitment. Making a plan. Making a plan. And putting it into practice. And putting it into practice.